what up YouTube uh, just making a quick video on some specs um, just want to tell you first off you know I'm no expert at uh, making uh, sub boxes but from doing a lot of research this is what I uh, came up with um, you know I've seen videos and people are asking about numbers so this is just to kind of show what I did um, I don't know you know about professional uh, subwoofer box builders you know i don't i don't know but uh so this is just what i came up with it's for two tens um so this piece right here these are gonna be 15 inches 10 and three fourths 12 and a half it's gonna have a, a mounting depth of eight and a half inches um the sub will go from here to about right here Oh no, from here to here, it'll give it 10 inches and I believe uh, two and a half on each side. Um, you know, I just try to, I'm, I'm a real even person, so I just like things to be even. So two and a half here, two and a half here, two and a half airway, two and a half all the way around. And then it'll come out right here. <laughs> and I have a piece of wood right here. I think I'm going to put either uh, two tubes or, or cut us, cut us the square for the air to come out I'm not really sure yet what I'm gonna be doing um, and same with this side uh, exact same numbers the box is uh, 36 and a half by uh, by 20 sorry let me get the spec sheet real quick and uh, these are the numbers I came up with 36 and a half uh, by 20 deep and it's 15 wide so 36 this way 20 this way and I guess if you're looking at this way 15 tall um, which will mean every one of these pieces of wood has to be uh, 13 and a half inches so um, let's see here uh, anyways this will show you so the top and the bottom are 36 by 36 and a half by 20 then we have right here you need uh, four of these that's going to be these pieces 13 and a half by 15 then we have two of these 13 and a half by three-fourths by ten, 10 and three-fourths sorry it's gonna be right over here two of those then we're gonna have 13 and a half by 12 and a half that's gonna be these two pieces okay then we're gonna have the 13 and a half by 13 and a half that's gonna be the uh, the back and the front then we'll have 13 and a half by 20 that's going to be the sides um, so that is just a quick uh, tutorial I saved up some sawdust uh, just so I could fill gaps this is my first time making a sub box um, geez I think cutting the wood is the most difficult part I bought a bunch of stuff to kind of fill if there's any kind of little gaps what you would want to use is probably something like this some kind of wood filler maybe liquid nails and just pack with some sawdust um, that'll make it like wood and you can always you know once that dries you can sand that down um, what else is there oh I'm using the uh, I have some cheap subs I'm gonna be putting in and I'm gonna get some better ones so I'm gonna make the uh, inside hole a little bit smaller and then the outside hole bigger so once I get the, the new subs, I can maybe uh, just sand this down a little bit and then just sink the other sub in so it goes f f uh, completely flush. Uh, but yeah, oh, there's all the wood cut already, all the pieces. Um, what you're gonna probably wanna do is uh, make a couple brackets, put one here, every corner, one here, one here, and so on and so forth. So I'll just draw them out so you can kind of see. Right. Um, this whole thing was relatively cheap. I, uh, Oh yeah, you know I want to throw some bracks on here too, sorry. Throw one there, throw one there. Then do something like this. Find the middle, make like a 
something like that for the air to kind of go in. I'm probably going to have this be two and a half inches also, so it just comes around. Um, I, don't know, I got this big big piece of wood for uh, $30, uh, pretty cheap. Um, spent about another 30 on 30 40 on supplies. I got a little uh, corner. Uh, you put these on the corners. You put the glue in, then you tighten them. And then you put the screws in and you can take them off just to kind of hold them real tough uh, make, so they come out just right. Um, yeah, I don't know what else. Uh, for cutting, I used, uh, got something, this thing was only eight bucks. I took this, uh, so I put this like this across wood. Then I used some clamps, just clamped it on and that'll help you guide the jigsaw straight. Um, yeah, I guess that's that's it. I mean, for sanding, um, just got all this stuff at Harbor Freight, you know, really cheap. This thing was like five bucks. Uh, I don't remember. I'm just finding a coupon for this. Um, for sanding, I got this thing on eBay for, uh, I think it was like a dollar. came from China, and then all these pads are like another two bucks. And, you know, just just thing, I mean, it made all the pieces just come out perfectly smooth because that's going to be a problem. You know, I've never done this before, so I didn't know what to expect. But you're definitely going to have to um, think about how you're going to cut the edges straight with the jigsaw. I didn't think about that. I've never done this kind of project. Um, and then to sand it down to get them smooth, I mean, this thing, this thing really works. That was my one-handed... Uh, one-handed uh, I mean as you can see it gets up really smooth really quick so I'm a perfectionist and that's how uh, get that perfection going um, I want to have some uh, soldering equipment to uh, do the wires I'm gonna make them all uh, probably dual 10 gauge coming out of each um, this box is gonna house uh, two 12 inch subs uh 600 rms each um the ones i'm going to be buying to, to uh put in it are going to be 1500 rms each um not really sure how much air space this has or how much uh how much space this will have i guess uh it's that it's 10 by 15 so what's that 10 by 15 by 15 shit i don't know you do the math but plenty anyways there it is hope you uh i don't know hope you uh this helps you just uh like i said this is just to kind of show some numbers because i see a lot of people asking so and uh yeah, hope you like it